Now we want to install the lame MP3 encoder. So the way that we do that is we go under Edit, come down to Preferences, or it's the shortcut is Control and P, hit Preferences, and you will go in and you will go to Libraries. If you have Linux, you will not have this in Preferences. The MP3 will be already there. So you'll see that it is not found. So you can go ahead and say, you can try to locate it if you already have it, but you can go to download, click on download. It will take you to this website. When you go here, it will say lame download page, and it will tell you how to do this. You can follow instructions here, but the way you do it is you click on this page here and it will take you away from Audacity to a different website. Okay, you will scroll down and you will find under this section right here, you will find zip options. You will find the lame encoder right here and you will click on it to download it and you want to save it to your, I'm saving it to my desktop, I want to click there and it's a very small file and it's already downloaded. The next thing I will have to do is I actually have to close this, cancel it down. I'm going to minimize this and I will find my lame MP3 encoding software here. It might go into your download files. You need to find it. I will double click on it. In Windows, it will ask you if you want to install the lame software. You probably won't see this window and you will click yes. You want to go and choose Next, choose Next again, and you want it to go to this location. It's C colon slash program files slash lame for Audacity. You want it to go into that folder. If you don't, you will have to find it. If it goes into that folder, Audacity will find it for you. Then I click Install. The program installs. You're finished. Now I want to take Audacity and open it back up. Okay, now that I see Audacity, if I go under Edit, Preferences, or Control P, go back to my libraries, and you will see that it's installed. It's in that location. So there we go. We have it. We're ready to start making MP3s. And you can do the same thing if you want FFmpeg. You would download it. You would install it just the same way and it will go into the file and you are ready to go.